Hello! I would like to begin by wishing you a Happy New Year. I hope 2017 will be a great year for you. And as it is the tradition and the liturgical calendar uh, tell us that the first Sunday of the year is Epiphany, a feast when we celebrate the coming of men from coming from the East. And it's very interesting because only 12 months ago here in Canada, it was all about the refugee, uh, the Syrian refugee coming from East. And there were a lot of people talking. Of course, there were a great amount of people welcoming them and saying that's the right thing to do. There were also a significant number of people saying, well, maybe we will come too many of them. Uh, maybe there's we will overtake and we don't want to be overtaken by by them and there's maybe some danger and what if uh, some terrorists uh, sneak in and and uh, come in Canada and and you know do bad things and there was a lot of fears that was not really rational in terms of numbers because if we do the maths uh, the latest number I read that is that by the end of 2016, 40,000 refugees from Syria will welcome in Canada, by sponsored both by the government or private citizen churches uh, organism. Over a population of 35 million, that's only one. It's not even one percent of the population. It's 0.1 percent of the population. But still, this this fear. The same fear we can find in the Gospel of uh, Matthew when we read that King Herod and all Jerusalem were frightened by the presence of the Magi and the news they were looking for a new king. It's surprising because from what we can read in the Gospel but also in other historical document about King Herod, well, Herod was maybe what it's called a puppet king from Rome, but he was a king on his own land, and he was not afraid to use all of his the power at his disposal, the army, the, all sort of coercion, and to establish his power and silence everyone who might even closely challenge him. He was a very paranoid man, and. It's surprising that he's so afraid of a simple baby. But in a way, it speaks about us, human beings, and how we can be easily afraid. Afraid of everything is uncertain. Afraid of the challenge in front of us. Afraid of the threat to the established order of things. Afraid of losing our privilege, our position in the world. So Herod, like a good politician, say all the right thing. You know, like he goes to the Magi and said, Oh, uh, please find this baby and, and come back to me so I can go back and pay my homage to him and all the good things. But the reality, <laughs> he was not telling the truth. He just wanted to find out that baby and eliminate the baby. Eliminate the threat. And when the Magi does not come back, well, we know the story. They decide to massacre every boy under two in the area. And today, we are more civilized. We don't kill children when we're afraid of our status, afraid to lose something. No, when we feel threatened, we simply close our borders. You know, we let the massacre happen somewhere else, like in Aleppo, we saw at the end of 2016, and we barely rise an eyebrow when we see this in the media, and oh, it's so sad, but you know, we won't do anything, and man, we're not gonna speed up, you know, bring those poor refugees here. No, 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 no. We don't do that. And interestingly, and the story, the gospel story we have today, it's the man coming from the east, the strangers that show us 
what humanity is all about. Yes, they found Jesus, they paid their homage, and they live by another route. Yes, they challenge the established order. They challenge the power that is. They don't want to get entangled in political games and all of this. They do what they feel is right. And those strangers, people that we might believe that is outside God's plan, because they're not from the chosen nation, they're not worshiper of God, just do the right thing. And that's the story for us today. Are we going to do the right thing? We all have those moments. Yes, there's refugees, but there's so many other moments, so events, so opportunity in front of us. And we have always have the choice. Are we going to play games, uh, cling to our power, try to keep everything that we have and not share with others? Are, are we going to do the right thing? Welcome those who are struggling, those who are whose life is in jeopardy, those who are poor, destitute, rejected. Are we going to follow the example, talk to us by the stranger, or are we going to follow the established order? Well, that's all for today. I hope you enjoy this. Thanks for listening. And I remain in 2000 Stefan, uh, 2017 story, Stefan Vermette, the lectionary man. And take care of yourself. And I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.